When you gaze upon the lovely sight of twins, arm in arm asleep at night, think not that the house has been doubly messed, but that you, as a parent, have been doubly blessed, John Bratton. According to research conjoined twins occur in every 50,000 to 60.0 births. Approximately 70% of conjoined twins are female, and most are stillborn. Approximately 75% of conjoined twins are joined at least partially in the chest and share organs with one another. Meet Masha and Dasha Russia's most famous conjoined twins. Their mother Yekaterina Kravoshyapopova was not aware that she was having twins and spent two days and nights giving birth, naturally. They were born on January 3, 1950 in Moscow with two heads, two torsos, two arms and one leg each, and a third vestigial limb at the back. Their mother was told that her daughters had died soon after their birth, just to be studied by a Soviet physiologist. The Soviet physiologist Pyotr Anakin had put out an alert to all maternity hospitals in the USSR to be informed if any conjoined twins were born. The twins had been taken to the Institute of Experimental Medicine, and Pyotr Anakin began studying Masha and Dasha within days of their birth. The Soviet Academy of Medical Sciences produced a documentary film detailing the research. Masha and Dasha's case is now considered a prolonged case of medical torture. Experiments included packing one twin in ice to bring their temperature down to near fatter levels while observing temperature changes in the other twin. Burning them, starving them, depriving them of sleep. And electrocuting them in time with a metronome to test their reflexes. Their lung, heart and brain activity was constantly monitored. Tubes were routinely inserted into their stomachs to monitor gastric juices and blood was taken from them three times a day. They were kept hidden from public in a children's ward for eight years before they transferred to boarding school for children with motor impairment in southern Russia. According to Juliet Butler, when they were adults, they couldn't remember anything about the trauma they had in their childhood. They said they could only remember happy things such as the time a nurse brought them a toy. Juliet Butler is a journalist who befriended the twins. She met them in 1988 and eventually helped Masha write an autobiography, which was published in Germany, among other places, in 2000. Masha and Dasha were two mismatched souls trapped in a conjoined body. In an interview with Mailinline, Ms. Butler said, I've no doubt at all that Masha was a psychopath she ticked all the boxes. Dasha was in an emotionally abusive relationship similar to the situation some people find themselves in with a partner. But while those people have a chance to leave, Dasha physically couldn't. Masha was a cruel, domineering psychopath and emotionally abusive to her sister, while Dasha was a caring, empathic sister who remained gentle and kind and longed for a normal life. Butler narrated how Masha forced Dasha to drink alcohol so they could both get drunk, since Masha couldn't consume alcohol due to gag reflex. Butler said, they had their own hearts and lungs, but shared a blood supply, so when one drank alcohol, they could both get drunk. But Masha was unable to drink because of a gag reflex, and despite Dasha detesting alcohol, she forced her to drink anyway. When Dasha had fallen deeply in love with a boy, but Masha denied it. Butler said, it was very much requited the boy really loved her back. He tried so hard with Masha to get her on side, but she was possessive. No one could have Dasha, only her. Over the years, many doctors offered to separate them with the help of medical advances, but Masha declined it too. When a British surgeon specialized in conjoined twins offered help to separate them, Dasha glanced across at Masha, her eyes full of hope, but Masha, looking straight ahead, immediately said, Nyet, and that, as Dasha would say, was that, Butler narrated. And when they were reconnected with their mother in 1985, Masha wanted to cut off the connection against Dasha's wishes. Masha was not interested in getting a job and changing her life, 
she would rather smoke and read magazines. Dasha wanted to have a job and even got a job putting bulbs on pipettes. Masha denied Dasha everything she ever longed for a chance of love, a relationship with their mother, a job, and even what she wanted most, a separate body, added Mrs. Butler. Despite the toxic dynamic, at the end of the day, they had been through a lot together, and they had each other. They clearly loved each other deeply, Butler said. On April 13, 2003, Masha fell ill and complaining of back pain. She died of a heart attack the following day, 17 hours after the onset of her symptoms. Dasha was taken to the first city hospital and died another 17 hours later due to blood poisoning from the toxic byproducts of Masha's decomposing body. They were the oldest living conjoined twins when they died in 2003 aged 53. Butler has written a book, The Less You Know the Sounder You Sleep, based on their lives.